Most of our area school systems either canceled classes today or started late, but there were some students who had to go to school on time. And then once they got there, they found they didn't have heat. Suzanne Kennedy live in Silver Spring tonight with more on that. Suzanne. Well, Leon, the school that you see behind me here in Silver Spring is one of four in the county that had to close today. Not exactly an ideal situation, but the county says it feels that it made the right decision in holding classes today. Limited power and no heat greeted students this morning at Germantown's Daly Elementary School. A Pepco power outage left the school with classrooms that were 30 degrees. Students were moved to a media center and alternate classrooms, trying to keep warm wearing jackets and earmuffs. The kids have not been in any danger. They, you know, we're really, we're really monitoring closely the, uh, the conditions and um, working closely with our central office and they've been very supportive as well. Students arrived at the county's 202 schools in single digit temperatures this morning. Four facilities had to be closed due to a lack of power, heat or plumbing issues. Still, the county stands behind its decision to stay open. We want our kids in school. We've had three snow days so far this year. Um, we have one more built into the schedule. After that, we may have to extend the school year. The county superintendent was criticized on social media today for being one of only a few school systems to remain open. Parents in downtown Bethesda are split as to whether kids should have gone to school. As long as the schools themselves are heated and they're getting to school um, safely, then they can still be learning and not missing another day. I think this morning at six degrees and eight degrees is a little bit too cold for the kids to be at the bus stop. I think they should be in school. I mean, you know, I grew up inside of Boston. That's what you do. They tried very hard at Daly Elementary School to keep the school open, but when the power wasn't restored by the estimated time given to them by Pepco, which was 11 o'clock, they decided that they had to send the students home. In the district, which also stayed open today, they had to close two schools, but those schools were closed before the day even got started. Reporting live in Silver Spring, Suzanne Kennedy, ABC 7 News.